We all implicitly understand the idea that sometimes ICT for D enables only a little change, and sometimes it enables a lot of change. But how can we think about this systematically? In this video, I'm going to present a model of four levels of ICT for D enabled change. Our model starts with a basic information system built on a foundation of technology that could be either analog or digital of data content and processes of information production, decisions and transactions. This could be anything from paper records to a simple mobile phone based app to a cloud and server based platform. Information systems only operate if driven by some external agency, typically, but not always, the human motivations and capacities of the actors involved in that system. And information systems always sit within wider societal structures, such as institutions and socio-political and economic relations. Alongside this basic system model, we can add the first of the four stages, which is digitization in which you change the technology of one or more of the system's processes, initially changing from physical to digital, without otherwise changing those processes. And an ICT for the example would be making a phone call to find the price of crops in the local market, instead of getting in a minibus to physically visit the market in order to find the price. Digital improvement is a rather vaguer notion, but it means incremental changes to system processes or to inputs such as data content. A well-known ICT for D example is the case study of use of mobile phones by fishermen in Kerala to collect price and other information from different markets while they were out at sea and then land their catch at the market where they could make most profit. It wouldn't have been possible to physically visit all of those markets. So this is more than just digitization. The third level of change is reorganization in which change is made to the overall system. For example, adopting a different kind of process. An ICT for D example could be a subsistence farmer using a mobile phone to start selling their crops in a market for the first time or a farmer using ICTs to make the transition from just selling there uh, in their local market to being integrated into an export supply chain. The final level of change is transformation, where the focus pulls out to mean making changes to the broader social structures that encompass the um, overall digital system. There are arguments about how radical a change is needed for something to count as digital transformation, but there could be a case for saying that fintech applications like M-Pesa have been transformative because they've included millions of people in formalized systems of finance, credit, insurance, etc., and have thus fundamentally altered the socioeconomic structure of finance in countries like Kenya. This then is the D. IRT, the dirt road to change. Note that there is going to be a risk reward trade off as you go up the levels. The impacts will be greater and maybe the developmental benefits will be greater, but also the cost will be greater and so will be the risks of failure. If you'd like to know more, then take a look at the ICT 50 textbook and thank you for watching.